When you play for the Barbarians, you are a barbarian. You're, you're not a Frenchman or an Italian. You are a barbarian and you live by those core values. With this shirt that you're wearing, you've got a reputation to uphold. It's, it's a privilege to be, to be here. Every time I watch the Barbarians, I can say, I've played for this amazing club and it's, um, it's very emotional. It's a great opportunity for us to fucking show what we're all about. We get a collective, we get our voice and we go after them, because these guys are going to try to come at us from the start. It's not, it's not just any old jersey, that, that black and white jersey is incredibly famous and you've got a responsibility to that jersey to go out there and perform. John Williams, Brian Williams, pulling. John Dawes, great dummy. It's David, Tom David, the halfway line, brilliant by Quinnell. This is Gareth Edwards, a dramatic start. In November, Rugby Pass went behind the scenes with the Barbarians to see how the sport's most revered invitational side is coping in Rugby Union's modern era. The tradition, the history, and the bonds of unlikely friendships formed. Rugby's most hallowed club is one built on an ethos that flies in the face of the professional game. But what does the future hold for the Barbarians? Their test match against Wales on the 30th of November in the Principality Stadium would prove to be a historic day of goodbyes. The rugby world would see some of its most cherished sons play their last game of rugby, and all in the black and white hoops of this most storied of sides. Arguably Wales' greatest coach, Warren Gatland, took charge of his last game in the Welsh capital before heading to super rugby side, the Chiefs. The great juggernaut, Matthew Bastero, would play his last game in Europe before linking up with Rugby United New York while two legendary front rowers, Rory Best and Scout Brits, ran out for their final ever game of professional rugby. Please. Jim, you said my hair's all right. It is not all right. Well, Burns is in essence an imitational team. Um, to get imitation is pretty special. Uh, the reputation is there that it's an unbelievable club to play for. Uh, you just have to do it. When you get an invitation, grab it with both hands. I think it's such a, it's a tradition, it's an honour, I suppose, as is as much as being, you know, awarded um, a medal by the, you know, the Royal Family as it is in the rugby traditions. We're looking for a spirit of adventure. We're looking for characters who uh, form friendships easily and are not worried about nationality. Uh, we're looking for people who are prepared to trust each other in the ordinary sense of the word, uh, and have a good time. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Cohen. Happy birthday to you. On this team, I'm the only French, Frenchman, so it's, it's special. I work my English. For us to be French and uh, receive uh, in one invitation from the, from the English, <laughs> it's, it's very cool. And uh, it's a big family, I think. To have the honor of coaching the Barbarians, I think it's incredibly special in the history that the Barbarians have. And it's a great chance to mix with players that you never would have had the opportunity. So you look at the, the spectrum of players involved and you've got players from France and Ireland, from South Africa, from New Zealand, from Australia. Uh, and that's absolutely um, gold for me in terms of that, those chance to mix with those players. So performing in these games and winning these games and making sure that we get the other elements of the game right. It's a little bit of the contact, being smart and accurate in the contact and making sure D is right. In terms of communication, everyone on the same page. Me being as competitive as I am, um, you know, definitely want to, to have a an imprint on the, on the Barbarians and you know hopefully we can go out and, and play well and, and potentially win too. We're just going to try and get on the outside. Right, if that line speed's good enough, I guarantee you, you will never ever get on the outside. So that's the magic number, six defenders. I think the beauty of the Barbars is just that it just brings you right back and 
I think when you're thrown together with a week to go, like you, you kind of you need to get together and you and you need a lot, a lot of team building. It's an invitational team. It's very much rooted in what rugby's about, you know, enjoyment, the fun. But ultimately, we're competitive people, so we want to win. And I just think it is a, a fantastic organisation. I am delighted to finally get a, an opportunity to, to pull on that black and white jersey. Growing up in Australia, I've always perceived barbarians as a uh, you know, a group of guys who get together um, and spend a week together and, and, you know, play some exciting rugby. The Barbarians' core values haven't changed at all over the years. Uh, and there's still been that same aspect of adventure. The most video we all saw is uh, the try against uh, the All Blacks. So it was Gareth Edwards. I, I still think it's the greatest try in, 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 in world history, you know, in rugby history. I think it's, it's absolutely brilliant. You see the interchange, you see the, the side steps, the offloads, the passing, um, the All Blacks trying to tackle, the, the, the All Blacks desperate in terms of um, covering tackle. I think Grant Batty at, at, at the end trying to, to make the tackle. That has that, that memory on that game has you know, definitely a, a huge impact on me. Um, one, because just how brilliant the Barbarians were that day, what a game it was, and then obviously being against the All Blacks as well. The, the, the bigger part is uh, getting together on a Monday or a Sunday night, and then you have to figure out um, from a quite a elementary point of view how you're going to play, what kind of lineup you can do, and it, it's hard to p compete against very professional setups, but you only got a week off of prep to do. And if you say a week, you actually got three training sessions uh, in the whole week. And to what extent the Barbarians has still performed on this high level astonishes me every time I play for the Barbarians. Like uh, Skulk Brits coming in uh, in the middle of Brazil and then into, um, into this week, he just, I don't understand how he has so much energy especially at, at 38 years of age, and I don't know how many retirements he's come in and out of. He just is so much fun. Look at this boy coming! Oh <laughs> <laughs> well done, brother! <laughs> okay, we can go. Good fun, got a black flag. Come on, dude! <laughs> uh, but there is, in, in, in racing, there is a bit of bumping, and there was a newbie. One of, the, one of these two guys gave me a black flag. I don't know which one. <laughs> they went into bumping. Every tour is quite special. So you've got so many great individuals, great rugby players, but most of all, great people. Um, this is my fourth Barbarians tour. Obviously, I like coming on these a fair bit. Met a lot of really interesting characters along the way. And um, I've actually made a lot of friends that I still keep in contact with and play with guys like PSBs and Carl Heyman. Um, Carl was an amazing player and an even better drinker. <laughs> so. I'm going to shit face tonight. that? Sweet but short. I think when you're thrown together with a week to go, like you, you kind of you need to get together and you and you need a lot, a lot of team building, a lot of team bonding, and sometimes that takes a lot of hours. Sometimes you need to go into the early hours to make sure you really cement that. The the WhatsApp chat uh, is pretty good. Um, there's a lot of banter going on there. The Aussie boys just jumped on the on the banter wagon. You just, there's ne never a dull moment. I, I can get pretty ruthless and, and really uh, try and wind people up. <laughs> there was a couple of videos the other night in Brazil of Rory, Rory Best at, at his worst. I even re-uploaded it today because, you know, Robbie Deans and, and uh, Warren weren't on the WhatsApp group, so I didn't want, didn't want them to miss out. You know, they've got to see Rory at, Rory at his worst. I read of, I, I keep a very close eye on everything and, and occasionally there was, I think there's been a few on the WhatsApp group of, of videos of me, um, which obviously is very uncharacteristic. And all you can hear is when somebody hits play and you hear the sound, you're going, oh no, not that video again. But it's been, it's been good fun. All I can say is I was sleeping in my room on the floor, obviously, because it's a lot better for my back. And uh, Josh Strauss, I felt it was a wee bit creepy video of me sleeping. I'll say no more than that. I think that sort of the Babas has been has been brilliant for me. I've, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the the two weeks leading up to this. I've enjoyed this week, and 
I think when you when you get to the end of your career, it's it's just about it's a nice little reflection back on on what rugby's all about and and having fun and a bit of crack and but at the same time we're still fairly not fairly we're still very focused on on Saturday and making sure that we're good. So I think when those competitive juices start to flow, you know, it's about going out and delivering a performance and hopefully the Barbarians winning. You, you know, you've got to represent uh, the great history that the Barbarians um, hold and going out and making sure that you don't let yourself down and don't let the, the history of the Barbarians down as well. Just quickly just run through there guys and give a bit of feedback and muckers might have a bit of stuff. So, just a one win Jones. Yeah, he's pretty accurate. He's pretty good over the ball defensively. Uh, he's got a pretty diesel engine, not explosive, but he's pretty accurate as a scrimmager. Um, Ken, you know Ken anyway, pretty uh, dynamic ball carrier. Jake, nickname is Jill, not Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Says everything. Um, but he, he'll just fucking tuck and run hard. Um, no, no, we won't be any footwork on him, so no. he will carry. Yeah, same from uh, six, Shingler, he'll just fucking run hard as a challenger, uh, physically. Um, obviously, Tipper, you don't know when he's a great footballer. Um, Defensively, you let rip well as well. What's that? And the tackle, all you have in rip as well. Yeah. That yeah. is one yeah. thing you guys worked on a lot. So, this is body art fight. Yeah. So, so Wayne Rock, Wayne Rock at eight. Um, he's only been playing the game for about five years. And it was in a football academy. He's got a little bit of X factor about him. He's going to be special. He's quick, got great footwork, intelligent, works hard. I think um, as as the week's gone on, looking at, at the Welsh team and, and the Welsh players, it's you know individually highlighting, you know particularly some of the players' strengths. Um, you know you definitely talk about you know one or two weaknesses where we might need to or have the opportunity to exploit um, the Welsh team. And, that, and that's part of coaching. And I just hope everyone sort of appreciates um, that my role as, as a Barbarians coach is to go out there and do the best that I can for the Barbarians. You must be honoured Yeah, it's a <laughs> uh, Look, it's, 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 not, it's not me, so, you know, in terms of... Uh, Okay, so I just kind of I would have rather just sloped out the out of Wales quietly, but it's it's a massive honour and uh, looking forward to tomorrow and uh, just a great chance for me to say thank you to to Wales and everyone in Wales, the whole you know, the fans here tomorrow, and but not just the fans, but the whole of Wales for for a brilliant 12 years and um, you know, I, I, I can't thank them enough for the time that I've had here um, and I wouldn't have been here for that long if it wasn't for the people uh, of Wales and so been really special. Um, and uh, a new chapter in my life, but uh, you know, sort of um, some brilliant memories. And um, and just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, just you know, a real big thank you for to everyone in Wales. I just think um, one of the non-negotiables for us was that was that physicality. And I think when you play Wales, that's what you have to bring. If that is, they will lay the line there, and I think if you can get on top of them there, um, it could be good for us. I think just from from a slightly selfish point of view, and I don't know, it's a bit same for Gats and, and Scholar as well, just with it being um, our last game or my last game this weekend, I think you, you want to go out and you want it to be a good example of what you're about. Um, we can just deliver that and roll the sleeves up for a big 80 minutes. Oh, what? Oh. 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 So we've had a we've had a great couple of weeks together. Um, I hope you'll agree that um, we've set fire to trees on golf courses. Um, my guts are not quite the same, but I will never drink right-handed again. <laughs> you have my assurance. I can't deal with all that fizz. Um, but it's been a great time. And look. This is the last time we'll probably all be in the same room together. Of course, we'll see each other tomorrow and in the changing rooms. But I just wanted to say to all you guys, thank you so much for coming, uh, to taking part in this tour, to entering into the spirit or the character of the barbarians and for following 
what we like doing. You never know where you'll meet each other in the future. Um, it tends to be in a room where you weren't expecting to see each other and you'll nod at each other across the room and in that nod there is uh, the acknowledgement that you share the most incredible secret and that's the secret of being a barbarian and understanding what it means. And so I'd, I'd just simply ask you, when people say to you in the future, um, does the barbarians have a place in the modern professional game? Please tell them it does. And tell them why. And tell them why you enjoyed it. And tell them what we encourage in the game. We want them to shake hands in the future and know that it, in that handshake, there's a strength that sustains a lifetime's friendship. I have a particular passion for Barbarians Rugby because I think it has lots of life disciplines that are important for young people, boys and girls, uh, and I will dedicate the rest of my administrative years in inviting people to come and enjoy the Barbarians. It's game day, and with Cardiff a buzz with anticipation, the team prepare to depart from the hotel. The weight of rugby history hangs heavy in the air, and it's not lost on the players or the coaches. A couple of things, just a couple of guys I want to mention. It's your last game of rugby, Rory, Stoll, right? Um, I just think you epitomise what rugby's all about. That team, that your mates, having a bit of fun, playing with a smile on your face, and I think you're both a credit to you. Nations that you play for, clubs that you play for, and represent them. And uh, you know, that, that ability to have some fun, but also turn that switch off on, on what it's required. Yeah, I think having my last run out on, on a rugby pitch is like, it's going to be incredibly emotional for me. But like, I think I've been really lucky. I've got 15, just over 15, really good years. It's been it's been a bit of a roller coaster, but look, I think the highs have been incredible, and I think to. To finally pull on a Barbarian shirt and to go out on the at the Principality Stadium, you know, a fantastic place to play rugby is is I think you just need to count yourself lucky and, and be grateful and, and try to enjoy every moment. Rory, what you've achieved with Ireland's been outstanding, obviously representing the Lions. I want to take you back to a game that I saw you play. I don't remember a few years ago, was playing for Ulster against Northampton against Dylan Hartley. It's probably one of the best performances the hooker that I've ever seen that day. European Cup game, you won up there. Um, Skull, what you've achieved in the game. Uh, Saracen, <coughs> in South Africa. Love watching you play. The footwork, passing game, the offloading, pushing tens out of the way to get into first receiver. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's, it, this will be my last win. It's, uh, it's sad, but every time I watch the Barbarians, I can say I've played for this amazing club and it's, um, uh, it's very emotional. So hopefully today we can make today special for you two guys. You, you deserve all the accolades that come your way. Um, for the rest of us, it's going to be tough today. You're playing against a team going to be pretty motivated. New coaching regime set up. But we wouldn't want it any other way. That's why we play the game. We don't want it easy. There's no better feeling coming into that change rooms afterwards, sitting down, you work your ass off, you've got to perform, given a performance and you've got a result. And I expect us to win today. They couldn't give me a smaller shirt than this. Uh, normally the other hook is a bit bigger, I guess. <laughs> I mean, this is a double XL. I'm running around like this all day. <laughs> Fit into this shirt. Uh, I'm looking forward to, our team is looking forward to playing against Wales and it's uh, with Warren and with Robbie, uh, we want to actually give them a, a great send-off present. It would be fitting for us to put a performance that he can be proud of and uh, a, a test match or a game that the crowd will enjoy and love. Me coaching the Barbarians against Wales, it's, uh, 
It's going to be a strange feeling, so obviously the uh, away dressing room will be my first time in there. Uh, but it's a, it's a great opportunity for me to say thanks to the fans for, for 12 wonderful years and, uh, and to have the honour of coaching the Barbarians, I think it's incredibly special. It's, it's a privilege to be, to be here. In France we have the French Babas, but it's not the same, it's different. It's not the same spirit. You know, when you are with the Babas, it's more fun than rugby. But this week it was more rugby than fun, so <laughs> it's going to be okay. The crack's been great all week, but ultimately it is about the 80 minutes on, on Saturday and we're a competitive bunch, so once you get onto that pitch, you just trust that the boys are going to be there and you, we sort of say the result doesn't matter, but it, but it does in a little bit because this historic jersey deserves a performance. Yeah. 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 With a new coaching regime, I suggested that um, you know, probably the best thing for Wales going forward was to give this new coaching team the chance to coach Wales. And so I had to go asking the Barbarians if you know if, if I could please be involved in in this week and, and to coach the Barbarians against Wales. You know, you've got a license when you put that jersey on to to do things a, a little bit uh, out of the ordinary, but you've got to also be smart and in the way that you play without being, you know, completely reckless. Come, 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 come here, come here. Ah, the experience just on the cover ends, eh? Capping gum. Capping gum, wait. We're going to get it from there, Chen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cats. <laughs> Mommy. What is this capping gum? My boys need capping gum. It's key we get the space and the stability. Okay, so that, that, that's key, we have to have that. Um, and look, so as far as I can say, this is just another test match. This will be refereed as a test match. I'll allow the spirit of the game to be played, obviously, of course, but the basics needs to be to be done properly, first of all. Okay, so if there are any issues, they'll be dealt with just the same as in any other game. Is that fair enough? Enjoy, boys. Pleasure in your listeners. When you play for the Barbarians, you are a Barbarian. You're not a Frenchman or an Italian. You are a Barbarian and you live by those core values. You don't have to worry about whether you've won a league match or whether you've got a losing bonus point. We worry about whether we're expanding the game to youngsters, to young boys and girls around the world, whether we're forming friendships, whether we're pursuing uh, our goal of sportsmanship. A big game in the Principality Stadium with pretty full house in terms of 60 odd thousand being there, which is going to be amazing. And a lot of these players is the first time they would have um, played in the Principality Stadium. You've got a responsibility to that jersey to go out there and perform. And yes, we enjoy ourselves this week and we have fun and a bit of socialising. But when it comes down to the business end, it's about then recognising that there's some real pride at stake and it's about a performance and, and not letting yourself down and, and not letting the history of the Barbarians down too. I think when you're immersed in rugby, the Barbarians is one of the teams that you just have so much respect for. You just you want to be a part of it, you love watching it. You need to make sure that what you present on Saturday afternoon is a, is a representation of, of what you believe and, and what you can produce. It's a physical game and it's beautiful. But how beautiful is it where you can play against each other, literally try to smash the living crap out of each other, then afterwards, you say, well done, either you've beaten me or I've beaten you, but irrelevant. You shake each other's hand, you have a beer with each other, and you say, till the next time we meet. For the Barbarians to play against Wales, I think is, um, you know, it's a, it's a massive honour for uh, the Barbarians. It's massive for me and, and, and the players, and, and particularly when that roof's closed and that atmosphere, and it's going to be a great crowd, and so hopefully some singing, and, and what you're going to get is you're going to get hopefully a reflection of 
the tradition of the Barbarians in terms of being positive and going out there and playing and wanting to shift the wall and, and hopefully both teams enter into that. This is a great opportunity for us to fucking show what we're all about. We get a collective, we get our voice and we go after them. Because these guys are going to try to come at us from the start. We f***ed up. We just draw a line in the sand and it's moment by moment. And for those of us whose last ever game it is, f we'll enjoy it. And I know the rest of will, will play in, get them behind. We've done it all for three weeks. So for one last time, on a rugby pitch, we'll blow the doors off it. Yeah. 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 Woo! Quite an emotional day then for the bosses and for the players too. The Barbarians will be led by Rory Best in his final farewell. Lovely moment. himself here and still goes he's got that down he's dribbling it on and Bosch has to cover Evans on and it's McNichol for the corner oh but Keno insists to Rory we're going to hit our centers up, we're going to pick all that pink option, we can come back to the short side, if not, if we hit it in the middle of force, you just keep working the same way and just try to go through it. Let them make the tackles, just tie them out and then we take them out wide. The moment we're going a bit wide too early and they're just rushing us and suddenly shutting us down, so just try to go to the middle and then we take it to the edge. Yeah, even all we're back in the game, we're there, we have a couple of tries here. We've got some good rugby in the second half. We've got a D started to come a little bit better. We've got a bit more comfortable. Make sure we stay square, just hinging in a little bit. But it's on, just, just trust. But we're actually working our way back into the game. We've leaked a couple of tries late, but in reality, we were working our way into the game. Still there. They're tied. They don't have the bench that we have. Keep the faith. Yep. Just keep working. Little moments of inaccuracy is cost us. Let's go back now. Win 10 minute period. Huh? Let's just try to win each 10 minute period. Okay, whether well, it needs to be 3 0, 7, 10, whatever. Just and building these boys. And the physicality, I think you see it when we're in our own 22 and there's the ball. You can see the want. <coughs> you want to f***ing try to win this game. You want to try to win each moment. Just keep that up. Get the smile in your face until we get the ball. Breakdown carries. <coughs> excitement with the Raptors. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, we can't wait to go. And I'm left in the time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
talking about this. He's waving it on, and on goes Bosch. Bosch, good pace. Oh, it just opened up for him. Interesting bounce here, and was that a little push on the back of Halfpenny? It's good. Scott Brits, the new captain, is going to be happy. Oh, nearly got the pass, he nearly made it himself. Hard drawn initially, and then Brits, and now, how about me? to Meeks, and it's Brits inside, <laughs> beautifully done. Knows the importance, and he delivers. The gap is seven. The game that has no end. And it does. Nigel Owens blows the final whistle. Oh, well, I mean... From a game perspective, um, giving those two penalties away just or tries it before half time was tough to swallow. Then to fight back in the second half was pretty special. From a Barbarian perspective, I would have liked them not doing 12 man malls, going for the penalty. But I guess they, they're a new team, new, um, new coaching stuff, and they just want to win. Uh, we, we didn't have any pressure, and uh, from a game perspective, I'm very proud to be part of the Barbarians and the performance tonight. Oh, look, I think it was uh, I think it was an incredible game of rugby. I think we showed a lot of character, and I think something we've been building for three weeks. And uh, it just got away from us a little bit, but I think we can be really proud with the way we fought for each other, and, and we showed a bit of collective spirit. It's the best best club in the world because uh, you have to be a little bit serious, but you 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 take a lot of fun, a lot of fun, and uh, I enjoy to play with uh, some guys. Maybe I never play. Uh, today I play with two legends, Scalc and uh, Rory, for the for their last game. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Last time on the beautiful pitch as a rugby player, it's uh, quite emotional. The kind of um, support I got from from fans, friends, from family, uh, to the sacrifice my wife and my three boys had to make for my career. Uh, I'm looking forward to spending time with them, and um, oh, it's going to be tough to say goodbye to this, this game for the second time. Yeah, I think it's been incredibly special. The, the last couple of sort of farewells have had the, the reception, and to come uh, to a magnificent stadium like this and to get the reception, I think for me it's, it's brilliant, but, but more so for my family, you know, for them to hear the reception, it, it means over 15 years you've done something reasonably good. So, uh, look, I, I'm very happy and I'm very proud for them. German out there that supported me through my career, thank you. And a lot of love from me. Thank you, brother. And, uh... Just want to say um, thank you so much. It's been brilliant for 12 years. Uh, I love this place. And, um, you guys have given me so much. And my time in Wales has been absolutely brilliant. And it's a really special place in my heart for Wales and the people here and just thank you and it's been incredibly special. You guys have been a massive part of it, so thank you so much. Very well said, Warren. of being in the changing room when the final whistle goes and you're sitting down everyone's exhausted and you, know, you maybe have a, have a beverage together and, and those are the bits that, that I'll never forget and just that sort of camaraderie, that, like those are the, the really, those are the bits that you'll really miss.
for me, it's a, it's a memories you make off the pitch. Of course, it's very important that you put in a great performance on, on weekends, but it's the beauty about Barbarians is the people. The longer I played the game, the less important rugby became, but the more important the people became. And if you cherish those moments, uh, even now sitting here at 38, I've, you forget the games, but you do remember the people. Every guy that's worn a shirt, thank you for the memories. So it's memories that will last forever with me, and um, that's one thing nobody can take away from me, ever. <laughs> As careers end and memories have been made, it would seem that the Barbarians still hold a special spot in the patchwork of the professional game. All told, not a bad way to close the doors on a career.